Hello, this is Brian Rowe from Mythic MTG Tech doing another deck tech here. This is a deck tech from a release event for M13. Each person was given six packs to construct a deck. This is the deck that I used to go 4-0. and oh. This was done out at Uncle's Games in Crossroads this past Sunday. To be honest, I was not extremely happy with the pool that I was given. There weren't a lot of incredibly strong cards in it, so I just built the quickest, fastest deck that I possibly could with the most removal in it. Let's take a look at the deck here. Now, I'm only running 16 lands, and for color fixing, I'm running Evolving Wilds. As you'll see here, I'm in white and black, and I've got a pretty even distribution between swamps and plains. The stronger of my cards are clearly the black cards. I was very happy with Duress in the one spot. It let me grab several mid to late game threats. And depending on what my curve looked like, I may even leave one of their larger threats in place with the idea of killing them before we ever make it to the high end of their mana curve. Um, Knights of Infamy were wonderful. The protection from white was very relevant in several games and Exalted is just great. Got a pair of those. Bloodthorn Vampires, I believe that I actually got two of these, but I only played one in the deck because multiples of them are not very good on the synergy side. Uh, Signed in Blood, I was super happy to play a pair of these, although in one game I did end up with myself down to four life in a race. But in every other game that I, well, I ended up winning that game, so I can't be too unhappy. And this was a quick way to get some extra card advantage. I love playing this card in Limited. Um, Murder is just one of the absolute best removals in the limited environment and might even be constructed playable with destroy target creature and no real drawbacks there. Um, Giant Scorpion is one of the cards that I ended up citing out more often because it really doesn't fit my super aggressive strategy, although it was useful in one game when I had some flyers going through to stop their larger ground creatures. Cower and Fear is a wonderful combat trick, giving minus one, minus one to each of your opponent's creatures. Definitely had a blowout game just because of this card. Um, Blood Reckoning is beautiful if you're going to draft or play this really quick type of damage race. There were several games where I dropped this and what was an equal race, and it made my opponent seriously consider attacking me. And once I've got to that point, I'm going to win the race. Um, Dustmantle Prowler, I initially was not too happy with as a 2-2 Exalted uh, with Haste, but with several other Hasters in the deck, um, this is just a really nice card, uh, especially since my mana curve is so low. Having another Exalted to round out the top of my curve is great. Um, Rise from the grade, it, Grave in conjunction with Murder uh, definitely got me back into one game where I was completely looked to be completely lost because they had stabilized, being able to kill their large creature and then bring it over to my side actually gave me a little more late game than I had anticipated. Uh, the War Falcon here I'm really divided on as a 2-1 flyer. The mana cost ratio is great, but my deck is super aggressive, so I don't want to be blocking with him, and I really needed to have soldiers out. He's one of the cards that I would reconsider based on the number of soldiers that I had. On the other hand, the War Clamp Mastiff, I, I thought he wasn't going to be great at only a 1-1 one, one for 1 with First Strike, but when you pile on several Exalteds, this guy is incredible, and he's getting through every turn. Had a pair of him, and I was happy to have two. Pacifism is decent removal in this environment, not great, but given the low mana curve, I really wanted to stop them from blocking early on. Uh, Captain's Call is a good mid... A game blocker as you try to use a evasion to get through. Um, Intrepid Hero really hit, fit the theme of the deck extremely well as I'm playing the low casting cost uh, quick curve and if they get something larger out I've got trouble. They've really got to deal with this before putting larger creatures out to try to stop my early onslaught. Uh, Knight Attendant I've just been happy with overall. Having an extra body in there and first strike is nice. Uh, the Griffin really shined in this, especially with things like the Knight Attendant, where you have several creatures coming into play. Uh, this, with a few Exalted, definitely gets through in the air. Divine Verdict is one of the best removal in the current draft environment. It's a little spendy at four, but it hits pretty much anything as you're going to be meleeing in combat. Um, Ordric Master Tactician did win me one game straight out. 
the one game that I lost, I was able to drop him on the field, but he was answered with an O-ring. Very happy with him in the limited environment, although I think he's definitely questionable and constructed. Sarah Angel is a nice way to round out the curve in white uh, with an ender here. Being able to pile on a few exalteds is wonderful. And the MVP for this deck was by far Kite Sail. The number of exalted and first striking creatures that I had, being able to turn one of them into a flyer, come across, and then switch this back to one of my creatures with first strike as a flying blocker was just wonderful. I really like this, and I'm going to be considering it in the one through three pick spot, especially for if I'm trying to draft that really aggressive style deck. The two casting cost is very decent. The equip cost is a little high at two, but I, this was by far the MVP of the game. Thank you. I hope you like this deck tech, and I hope that it helps you with your coming M13 sealed and drafts over the next few months. If you've got any suggestions on things that uh, I shouldn't have had in there, or cards that you don't like, or feedback on some of my comments, I would love to hear them. My goal here is to really improve at draft in preparation for uh, Return to Ravnica that's coming up. Thanks.